Hello folks, this is Rich Prout from Stonehearth Capital Management with your April 2015 Educational Economic Update. First, I'd like to remind you that our semi-annual breakfast seminar will be held on Saturday, May 16th at the Danversport Yacht Club. If you'd like to attend, please RSVP by calling 978-624-3000. We hope to see you there. In this month's video, we'll talk about some of the major economic headlines from last month and give you some insight into what they might mean for you as an investor. First quarter earnings season kicked off in April as U.S. firms reported on their performance for the first three months of the year. So far, the news is mixed. 280 S&P 500 companies reported overall profits were up a respectable 9.1%. However, top-line revenue was flat, and many firms missed the revenue targets. These results indicate that U.S. companies struggled with weak demand and that earnings came from carefully controlling costs rather than growth. The revenue misses were especially stark among firms that depend on global sales. The strong U.S. dollar has made it more expensive to buy U.S. products. Volatile oil prices and soft global growth also affected many firms. On the positive side, companies were still able to squeeze out some respectable profits. We also got a good first look at quarter one economic growth. The advance estimate of gross domestic product showed that the economy basically ground to a halt in the first quarter, growing just 0.2%. Though this early report is based on incomplete data, we can see that business exports plunged, businesses slashed investments, and consumers held on to their wallets for dear life. How much of this weakness is still with us in the second quarter? That's the big question that economists need to answer. So far, we know that consumer spending had edged upward in March, and that wages increased in the first quarter, giving Americans more money to spend. Hopefully, a warmer spring and summer will give consumer spending and business activity a boost. Last month's Federal Reserve Open Market Committee meeting was also a major event. Investors watched the meeting closely to see if the Fed would offer any more guidance about future interest rate hikes. Instead, the Fed completely removed all calendar references from official statements indicating that a mid-June raise is very unlikely. The takeaway for investors is that the Fed is going to be very sensitive to the economy and to financial markets and isn't ready to commit to interest rate hikes yet. This is good news because it shows that the Fed is being very cautious and won't make any sudden moves. In the weeks ahead, investors will be thinking hard about whether first quarter weakness is coming into the second quarter. While some of that can be attributed to seasonal winter factors that have faded with warmer weather, currency issues and oil price volatility may still be with us. As always, we're keeping a close eye on the economic environment and we'll let you know when circumstances warrant any changes to client strategies. That's it for the April Educational Economic Update. As always, if you have any questions or concerns about what we've discussed, please give our office a call. This is Rich Prout with Stonehearth Capital Management signing off for the month of April 2015. Please remember that nothing we talk about here is a recommendation. If you'd like to discuss your personal financial situation, please give us a call at 978-624-3000. We'd be happy to talk with you.